Welcome back. Final day of the Drake Relays is underway with many of our local athletes aiming to bring home some hardware from the Blue Oval. Our own Noah Sacco has more from Des Moines. Well, it's the home stretch here at the Blue Oval for one of the top state track and field meets in the country. The final day of the 2023 Drake Relays. As Siouxland High School and college athletes aim to stamp their mark here in Des Moines for the 113th annual running of a historic event. Track action, women's distance medley final. Wayne State and Dort within each other. Defender Molly Mulder anchoring home the last leg in 12 minutes, 32.4 seconds, six overall. Wayne State three seconds behind in seventh. More of the pair in the men's college distance medley. Trey Engen holding strong at fifth overall, crossing in 10 minutes, 3.5 seconds. Wildcats clocked through at eighth. Even stronger run in the Iowa college distance medley. Dort and Buena Vista neck and neck into the final relay. Peter Shippey stays strong. 10 minutes, 21.4 second finish. Just a second off from Cornell in first, Beavers finished third in the event. Every day in practice, we just try to push each other to the, to the maximum, and yeah, it works out at meets like these, and we can compete against schools like Iowa and Nebraska and Purdue. And yeah, it's just a blessing. Hurdles now, boys 4x110 shuttle. Spirit Lake qualified for finals in a school record time. Ethan Stecker keeping them in the top three. Indians, though, disqualified due to knocking over a hurdle. Girls 400 meters. Spencer's Jared Merchant, the second fastest time in 3A heading in, crosses intent with a new season high of 105.24. Shortly after, South Dakota's Aaron Kinney broke the 29-year school record in the 100 meter earlier this week. Strong finish for bronze in 11.51 seconds, two-tenths from first. Rain now starting to fall, but it didn't slow down USD's Hugo Morvin. Top time of 13.88 seconds in the men's 110 hurdles. Our first white flag of the day and fourth for USD on the weekend. To the women's 800 meter now, USD's Madison Yakum and Iowa's Amber Ayosa, former Bishop Heelan teammates, now racing back to back in the anchor. Ayosa finishing tough. The Hawkeye crossing in third at 2 minutes 8 seconds. Yakum in fourth at 2 minutes 10 seconds both PRs. Special reunion for the pair of Crusaders and 2019 state champs who continue to push each other. This is the first time we've raced each other since junior year of high school. Yeah. We both wanted to take each other through in PRs and just, you know, work hard and see what we could come up with. We get to see each other every once in a while at like California and stuff. So yeah. The big means it's fun to come to our home track and work together like we did in high school. So that was just a fun, fun race. To the field, women's high jump. USD's Daniela Anglin cleared the bar at 1.76 meters. Now in a jump off with Nebraska's Jenna Rogers. She grazes the bar a little too much at 1.79. She'll settle for silver and ending in the men's long jump. Great start for Northwestern's Braden Kelvillage, leaping 7.31 meters, his first attempt. That'll earn him bronze, making for a surreal experience among a group of Division I jumpers, including the Huskers for the Nebraska native. It's quite awesome because growing up from Nebraska and then competing against them, it's honestly an honor. Like, I never thought that I could compete against any of these guys, but it's definitely pretty cool out here. The strong finishes continuing for our Siouxland athletes here in Des Moines. Coming up tonight at 10, the women's hammer throw, as well as a slew of high school and college distance and relay events right here on the track. We'll have all that action for you coming up tonight. But for now, Anthony, I'll send it back to you from Des Moines, Noah Sacco, KCU Night Sports.